So you think the monoxide on Jason is for you? Don't know if they're on something. Or... We've got some, uh, we've got two unconscious individuals in their 50s uh, foaming at the mouth. I'm gonna try and get there as fast as we can. down, we'll cut our lights and sirens after we clear these people, and we'll still head that way. The medics arrived on scene and administered Narcan, which is the, it's, uh, it stops the drugs from overdosing their body. It gives them 10 to 15 minutes. It's not an end all be all. They still require medical attention. It just slows the process that the drugs, if there are any in their system, it slows the process that they're taking over their system and at the rate it's taking over their system. Most of us as deputies, we carry it on us in events like these where it needs to be administered and we don't have medics to do it for us. Uh, but fortunately, medics were able to arrive on scene fairly quickly and, and get it administered to both individuals. So when we get there, they'll probably uh, clear us off because like I said, medics are already on scene. There's nothing there for us to do let alone you know, four or five of us to do. If anyone needs to remain on scene, it'll be the sector deputy, which is uh, Deputy Buendijo. Looks like the, one of the deputies just pulled out some pills. Unit 6, unit 28. This might be a uh, narcotics-related overdose. Uh, unit 22, what's Don't know if they're on something or? Yep. Try and find out why they're passed out. Right. It looked like he was like looking under the But he was out? My mom's like, what's up with him? And I'm like, what do you mean? And she's like, he's just laying there. So I came over and he was out. And then I tried waking her and I'm like, hey, there's something. Your husband's on the ground. He's right. Like, okay. But they were, they physically drove here? Yeah. And parked? Yeah. Okay. Sounds like yeah, it's other than those pills, I see no kind of paraphernalia whatsoever. Nothing at all? Nothing. So whatever they took, they must have took the last of it. Did they both take Narcan? Did you get both Narcan? They, four and two. Narcan them both. What's that? Narcan four both? Four on the guy, or uh, four on the girl, two on the guy. You did or the medic? No, the medic. Okay. Hey, let's wrap it up. Yeah, we're going. So we got redirected for a domestic. Um, Male and female are going at it. Male is stating that the female is throwing things and hitting him. Says she is bipolar and not on her meds. So we will see what we can do with her. This might be our RP right here on the road. Hey, Juan, is that you? Hey, did you guys give us a call? I didn't, we didn't. Anyone call, you know where space one is? You know where space one is? I don't we don't even live here, no, no, no. friend. Space one. Eight eight hundred South Bowling. Is it on this side or this side? 
I don't think it's on this side. Is this 800 or 821? This is 800. Where's space one? Because that says 17. Okay. Okay, so not on this side, on this side. Got it. This place is so confusing. Oh, that says number one in writing. Let's try this one first. Says number one. All right, we're following you. <laughs> Sophia and Juan. Not here. There's three number ones. Three number ones. Well, that's helpful. <laughs> Watch out for number two. Number two is a bad one. <laughs> well, good thing we're not going number two. It's a nice bike. Where'd you get it? Um, you landed in my lap, like a bunch of everything else stuck. You heard that too, right? Yeah. Stone. Is that one of us? I don't hear any emergency frequencies. Weird. Sheriff's office. Sheriff's office. Come in. Oh, we're going in. Come in. I'm coming. Is that you, Juan? Yes. I don't know where she is. You don't know where she is? She left? Well, but uh, before she left, she, she threw a part of the league at me and she- uh, what at you? Part of the league that was out there. Part of a leg? The, the table. Oh, like a table? Okay, a table leg? And I told her, you know, you know, knock it off. She kept throwing crap. She not in here? Oh, no, she isn't. She kept throwing crap and she, the only reason I called her is because she hit me with the, the, and it's oh, the flashlight. And the remote flew out. Where'd she throw it at? I don't see anything she fresh. Here. She threw it from here to here. South 14, be advised, the uh, female's no longer on scene. I don't. Yes. Okay. Where, where'd she throw it at? Because that's not new. It just happened right now. Yeah, none of these are new. These are like old. No, this happened just like about 20 minutes earlier. Do you have any wounds or cuts, it's just bruises? It's just I didn't want to react. I wish she wasn't, she was just. Okay, do you need medical attention? No, I don't. No, and you have no idea where she went? I have no idea. I just wanted you guys to, you know, calm her down. Right. How long has it been since she's taken her meds? About two months. Two months? Yeah, we were out here like two months ago. We were trying to, we were trying to get, while well, I was trying to get her. And was she just throwing these to throw them, and she just happened to get you? Just being angry. But or was it directly towards you? She was trying to towards hurt me. you. Towards me, directly. Okay. And did she do anything else? Hit no, you? I, punch I you? Wanna, I don't give clearance for this. Oh, okay. And where did she hit you specifically with the leg? Right here in this wrist. Right there in that wrist? No. She threw this at the wrist. What at the wrist? The flashlight? Okay. To where it broke. Can I get a photo of that? Your I wrist? suppose it's not going to really matter. This. 
Well, we're, we're trying hurts. to ask where specifically you were hit. Because you got tons of cuts and bruises. We're just trying to lo like locate. Here and here. Okay. So basically, uh, male and female got into it arguing. Female threw a flashlight and a table leg at him and hit him. Uh, she then let it, left the scene. We're going to go and try and locate her, see if we can get her side of the story and talk to her. So right now we are going to a theft call. It looks like it was at a business, um, possibly a uh, car shop. So it looks like someone stole a battery, a jack lift, and attempted to steal a trailer, but it wasn't successful, successful at doing so. It looks like the guy that they suspect has been arrested already two days prior for possession of a stolen vehicle, so it might lead to you know, more stuff being added to that at that point. Hello. How's it going? Good. What, when did everything occur? What time? Uh, the footage that I have is from like 4, it's like 4.30, 4.15. Okay. When did you notice it to be missing? Like 2 this afternoon. 2 in the afternoon, okay. Yeah. Why, why didn't you call us to make the report then? Because at that time, mm -hmm. I was like, it's just a battery and some straps and a high lift jack. Gotcha. Um, but she was a little more worried about it. And then I started getting all the phone calls from everybody. Hey, I know exactly who that is. Mm -hmm. And is that a video or just a photo? It's a video. Okay. Do you have any like serial number on the battery possibly? No, it's a group, group battery. Do you have bat pictures of anything? Uh, I mean, I can show you the battery. It's still, I've got one in this truck here. And the trailer's over here. So the battery looked just like this one. Mm -hmm. It's a Group 65. And this trailer was at the shop? Yeah, this shop. was at the shop. They emptied the box. Battery was in the box. All tie down straps were in there. High lift jack was right here. And this is what it looked like when I found it this afternoon. just on the ground. Gotcha. Like they tried to steal the trailer because mm -hmm. it was in the lock position. Yeah. So, but apparently they couldn't figure out how to take it. Mm -hmm. Now everybody's a break. Yeah. So if you can email me that video, I'll give you my business card with the, the case number and my email attached to it. Okay. So I'll send it just as much as you send it out through Facebook and the news channel, of course. Okay. I'll send it to the detectives and deputies. So. If we ever come across that individual again, or someone knows where he might be at, then we can go ahead and uh, take the, of course, take it accordingly. We okay. have to prove. Everybody knows yeah. who it is. He, he's very fond and familiar with our agency as well. <laughs> so um, we will definitely, I'll go ahead and get the case number for you. I'm gonna need a statement of everything that's taken and then any descriptors, of course, from them and then just a price estimate so we can okay. determine what the whole total value is. That will determine whether it's a misdemeanor, gross misdemeanor, and felony. Okay. okay? I'll go ahead and get that documentation. Okay. So what happened was he has video footage of a male that a lot of people know in the community. He's very uh, familiar with everybody. So the male uh, stole a battery, some straps, and a jack lift from his trailer that's located right here. This was at, the trailer was at his shop earlier today and with the community's help, they were able to identify them. So now we're just getting the paperwork done and I will be sending an email out to all the other uh, deputies and detectives and regarding it. And so hopefully we can find out where this guy is and talk to him about it and see what we can find out. So basically we just uh, get, filed the report for the missing items from the previous call and uh, he's gonna email me the video and then we're gonna get that guy's uh, image out to everybody and see if we can locate him and ask him questions about regarding if he stole it and why did he steal it and go from there. Um, right now we are going to a suspicious call and what's weird about it is that the guy came up to someone at their residence with shirtless and was couldn't the guy the RP couldn't understand him but he smelled of alcohol so he's believed to be intoxicated and the guy's name that was walking around shirtless is Marcelo which is also the name of the guy they identified to steal all the stuff from him 
So it might be connected. It could be two different Marcellos. It could be you know the same one. Hopefully, we can find the same one and uh, knock out two birds with one stone. You know, solve this one and solve that one at the same time. So that's where we're headed now. Right now, we've been dealing with this guy for, I mean, forever. But tonight, recently, he uh, pulled the fire alarm at the casino and caused property damage. Um, if it is the guy that we're thinking about, he is also on uh, own recognizance release, which means he has certain violations uh, and rules that he has to abide by. And if he doesn't abide by those, then he gets put back in jail. So now we're just attempting to locate him. And he possibly is the same guy that's a uh, suspect in the, in the theft that I recovered earlier. So he's been eventful tonight. Sounds like we just got another reporting person saying that he's over here now. So now we're headed to ambush. What's going on tonight? Uh, I'm just relaxing. What time is it? Huh? I need a ride. You need a ride? I've been fucking walking for a while. I know, you've been knocking on doors, right? Talking to people. Well, what are you eating? Some lemon popcorn. A lemon popcorn? It's all crushed up. Yeah, I ain't really ate much, so I just take what I can. What's your name? Last name? Morales. Have I met you before? I don't think so, man. Do you have your ID on you? I do not. I, uh, give you all the information you want. I just got out of custody about two weeks ago. For what? Some minor traffic shit. Minor traffic stuff? You have to identify you, of course, right? Yeah. Oh, sorry, man. Nine. 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 Mm -hmm. And are you a junior? 18, I'll be out with the individual at 1800 at East Ambush. And can you run him? It's Marcelo Morales, nine. So where are you coming from now? Huh? Were you at the casino earlier? Actually, no, I haven't gambled that shit since I've been out. No, they, they said they, they, they saw you at the casino. You, you, you weren't, Saddle West. Fuck Saddle West, they can say all the fuck they want. Were you there? No. I checked into a room the night before. The night before? Yeah. They said that you pulled a fire bullshit. alarm. I was, huh? They said that you pulled a fire whoa, alarm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. As far as me being there, okay, I had a room with my with my girl. But a fire alarm? Got gotcha. you. When, when did you get out of jail? You can't, you can't ask her. I don't really know. Oh, uh, you don't remember? It's not a joke. No, I remember. It's been about... So you're on OR o o right now, right? No, I'm not. You're not? Mm -mm. You okay. So what? So what was what was the traffic violation? Uh, possession, or I mean, involving offense in stolen vehicle, and then uh, possession or grand larceny of a stolen vehicle. Grand larceny. So you did. So you stole the vehicle? No. Oh, okay. I mean, dude, the keys are in it. It's running. Like, there's so many different things to the case. People just want to jump right away. Oh, you stole the car because of charge. You know, no, I didn't steal the car. Uh -huh. I didn't steal, man. Yeah. I got boots on. I'm trying to get to my kids. Wait, we, whatever this is, is over, please. Can you guys give me a fucking ride? Okay. Hey, man, asking the cops? We, all right, you want to go step in front of my car? I have to pat you down before you get in my car. Talk about swallowing your pride, bro. You can pat me all you want. If you can give me a ride, I'll give you okay. that deal. All right. You're not going to pat me down if you're not going to give me a ride, because I'm going to keep walking to my kids. Do you have any weapons or anything? I don't even have a 18. Dollar, you don't have a dollar? Crumbs of some fucking weed in my pocket. Maybe. Fucking bullshit. Supposedly the housekeeper. Copy. All right, and you don't have anything else on you though. You just had popcorn. That's it. Well, yeah. Yeah. I well, you had popcorn, but. Whatever. I found it. Yeah. Well, Eighteen copies. So, uh, it is eleven seventeen. Man, can you give me that ride? Yeah. I know. Are you trespassing over there? From where? Your kid's house. No. No. A anytime, you were at the casino, right? Because I have to trespass you from there. Hold on, hold on. I have to trespass you from there. From where? The Saddle West Casino. They don't want no, you back there, West, okay? Man. We're fucking right here. I know, but they want you trespass. So let me go ahead and trespass you from there, okay? That's fine, man. Okay. So <laughs> as a do, just listen to me. Calm get down. On the front of your car and just okay. Calm down. Listen to me. You don't want anything else, all right? As a duly appointed representative of the owner of the establishment at Saddle hey, West, I hereby. Like two minutes or a minute, so I can come down. Here okay. Right? Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll wait. Flooding me with bullshit right now, man. 
all you, over I think you, I, I think you, you I know, no, I don't. You don't? Uh -uh. So you wouldn't have a fucking clue. You guys have kids? <laughs> you're, you're talking to me right now. Let's just talk to me. No, I'm talking to the fucking camera because okay. obviously I'm talking to Perump, bro. Like this is, it's over with, man. Like people, it ain't no shocker. Cello on live PD, cello back in jail, cello in high desert, cello in Ely. All for what? For people to judge me off that screen, man? Because I'm no better than you and you're no better than me. You're right. Okay, well tell me why the white folks got the fire hydrant at the corner of their house, mm -hmm. but the Mexicans got to wait 45 minutes or an hour. Shit's already burned down. Tell me why it's just life. It's just the way shit works, man. Yeah. You're working against me, bro, please. Just take me to the end of the road. Eat off fucking right on the hood. I, I have to let you, I have to, remember? Remember if about- you gotta use force, man, do it. Okay, come here, real quick. come here real quick. Come here real quick. Come here real quick. I don't know that's on, man. Huh? I don't know that camera's on. It is. You're being detained, okay? Eighteen, one detained. I'm not gonna be nervous, and I'm gonna keep talking about my kids because that's who I want to be. Going to be right here, detained for what? Huh? Because you're you're acting all wild, man. I'm trying to read you. Man, you're here too. Okay. People too. Voice your opinion, guys. Can you can you sit down right there for? Sit down. Yeah. I can't even hear, man. I just need you to calm down, okay? You're you're riled up for no reason, man. No, there's a reason. 18, can you show that individual trespass from Southwest Casino? Trespass me from all of them, bro. Trespass me from Perot. Okay, so now another thing. Now, we had reports of a burg that took place at the uh, body shop right here on Prunt Valley. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. No? Okay, can I show you something real quick? I'd rather you not. Huh? I'll tell you what, can we call Boscovich or fucking Jan or somebody down here? Because this is fucking crazy, bro. I'm done talking, man. The lawyer will back me up, bro. They will, without the money. Because it's a slam dunk. Take these off of me, man, please. Have a seat. You're, you're, you need to chill. Dude, I ain't, dude. Look, I don't need look a at chill. this. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Yeah, what look at you? this. Look, so this is not you right here? Nope. Huh? No. Let's no? See. One more time, please. I'll actually pay attention. Is that you? got a hood on, man. I don't, I don't that know. is you, though. Look. Look at, do I have a hood on? Look at this. I can see your face. When is You it? see that? What date is this? What? You can see my face? Yeah, you see that? Hey, that's you. Not playing. He's right. got hair. Nah, man, that's not me, bro. Look at that. Yeah, have a seat right there. I told you a direct answer. Have a seat right there. I don't want to see anymore. I want to see Boscovich's ass. Who's Boscovich? She's going to be the lawyer to fucking clean this up real quick so I can get on the road, bro. I'll, I'll walk. She's your lawyer? I don't want to write no more, dude. Okay, well, have a seat. I'm being detained for what? Somebody that's walking past a parking lot? If he ain't doing a flip or some tight shit or a push-up, that ain't me, bro. Oh, he, he did push-up right there. No, fuck his push-up. He need to do a burpee. Oh, uh, no, he's not doing a burpee, though. Oh, I'm trying to work with this anxiety I got going on. I know. I, I you think, ain't done a fucking thing to me, yo. I think, I, exactly. I haven't touched you, right? Like, no, I mean, touch me. You ain't disrespecting me nothing, but I'm acting out towards you because you're in the way of me getting to my kids. That's, that's just, like, that's it. I don't give a fuck if you're the motherfucking captain, bro. Okay. If you're in the way of me getting to my kids for uh -huh. no reason, yeah, I'm not in the way. Then take the cuffs off, bro. Okay. And we can hey, get down. Have a seat. Have a seat. You're getting wild for no reason. No, no, no. There's have a, a reason, bro. Have a seat. Have a I seat. I want my attorney. I have don't want to say one me. more word to you. Okay, you don't have to talk All right, to me. Cool, then I'll sit down. Okay. Yeah, just you don't Stay have to talk bro. to me. Just that's fine. You can have a seat right there. Thank you. I'm not talking okay. to you. I'm sorry. Okay. No disrespect. Okay. Just call Nathan J. Call Nadine Hall. I'll call him for you, all right? Call Boscovich first. Yep. That bitch is bad, dog. Okay. That's shit. I ain't had no pussy. I've been jacking all of you. You don't even have a clue. Hey, so negative on OR, correct? Yeah. Right then for the theft then? Fuck that money. I'm talking about All right, sounds good. I'm that nigga to be right. I didn't make it. All right. So you're not going to tell me anything about the theft? My kid's eight years old, man. Huh? My kid is eight. Eight years old? What's your kid's name? So you're not on OR, okay? So I just confirmed that, okay? So you're good. Like I said, I had to confirm that you aren't, you're not on OR because I don't want you to be acting a fool and you get arrested again. Never. Okay? Unless it's for a good cause, you're damn right. But you know if you go back to the uh, Saddle West, of course, then you're causing problems, right? All right. Sounds good. You have a good one. So basically, we confirmed that he was not on OR. He was uh, previously arrested for uh, grand larceny of a motor vehicle, so he was caught in possession of a stolen vehicle. Um, 
we thought he was on the R. He wasn't, but I detained him, as you can see, because uh, he was definitely getting rowdy, and he is known to uh, be aggressive and fight. So I trespassed him from the casino. They didn't want to press charges for him damaging the uh, fire alarm or anything, so they just wanted him to trespass. Did that, and then the theft as well. Since it, the total value of the theft is $950, it only uh, fits for the petty larceny aspect of it, which is a misdemeanor. And in the state of Nevada, we can't arrest on misdemeanor unless it's committed in my presence or uh, it's continuous pattern, of course. So now I'm just going to long form the charges for him uh, and send that to the district attorney and they'll do whatever they need to do with that. So right now we are going to a uh, attempted auto burg. So someone tried to steal someone's car. It looks like the uh, owner of the vehicle saw a male with a shaved head, hot wiring, attempting to hotwire his car and take it. And as soon as he came out of his residence, the guy took off down the street. So now we're in route trying to find that guy walking down the street and uh, do a pet stop to see what he's doing and what was uh, he trying to do in that sense. So that's where we're heading now. Um, it was confirmed that the uh, reporting person did identify the male uh, who we dealt with earlier tonight to be the uh, suspect in trying to steal this vehicle right here. We trying to steal a truck? He don't want to speak. He doesn't. Mm -hmm. I ain't trying to get to my kids anymore, man. Not anymore. I'm trying to talk to my attorney. Okay. You have that right. Now, why can't you guys just give me a ride to Lakeside, dude? Is that too much to ask? They say they don't want to speak anymore. I thought whatever it is you feel, I allegedly, I don't even hey, care. Watch him I just want to talk to my attorney. Fuck the rest, get the camera out my face, man. Yo, you got rights to be recording me? Get it out my face until my attorney hey, gets here. Hey, stop it. It's public. It's public. You can't say anything about it. We're in public. I can, just like I'm recording uh, now. He just got released from jail two days ago for possession of a stolen vehicle as well. So he knew what he was doing. Uh, if no one caught him or no one came out, he definitely probably would have successfully taken this vehicle. You go okay? Free of charge. I'm done you can decide at any time not to answer any question or make statements. Do you understand? That means you have to talk to you if you don't want to. Get in the car. I'm not going to do this again. I'm telling you one more time. Get in the car. You're under arrest. For what? For auto burglary. Get in the vehicle. Okay. I'm under arrest for auto burglary. Hmm. Okay, then don't you have to say anything. I told you, you don't have to say anything. Get in the vehicle, all the way in. Alright. He was in the car. They drove the car only a few feet. Yeah, it was on the property line. But he said stuff on him. Yeah. Yeah, because freaking. I go talk to him. He's like, oh, well, you ran down this way. Come over here. You stand over there by the freaking house. He's just trying to get the next car. Yeah, exactly. He's talking about, I want to ride. Okay, get a ride all right. He said he was in the vehicle. Yeah, he drove it 10 feet. He, he drove it, uh, he said it was further up, but the vehicle was moved. He was in the vehicle. And like I said, it's a positive idea on him. Okay. He was definitely causing a lot of trouble tonight. Yeah, yeah. It was a matter of time. Yeah. I got a trespass on the lakeside, too. All right. <laughs> Might as well do all that. Yeah. Is it lakeside or southwest? Oh, I'm sorry, southwest. Yeah, all right, trespass did. on all right, southwest. Cool. I got to call southwest, let them know then. All right, let's find out if they're going to Drive over there? Alright, thank you. Alright, thank you. 